global ocean governance efforts have broken down. Countries have become increasingly concerned with protecting their own economic interests at the expense of the marine environment. All nations have seen a rise in authoritarian forms of government and extremism. Support for sustainable development, minority groups and human rights is low. Inequality has risen as wealth is accumulated in the hands of a few wealthy nations and multinational corporations who prioritise income over the environment. Wealthy nations have increased their fishing subsidies, which has exacerbated overfishing. As inequalities worsen, conflict between nations has increased. Corruption and lack of political will are common challenges. Vulnerable groups in developing nations have become further marginalised from decision making and management processes. Suspicion between organisations has undermined international efforts to develop a treaty for the high seas. No agreement has been reached and the high seas remain open access. Levels of illegal fishing have also risen. Illegal activities take place in part through the encroachment by high seas fleets into the coastal waters of developing countries, leaving less fish for these nations. Biodiversity has plummeted. Stocks of pelagic fish such as tuna and swordfish are overexploited and deep sea habitats have been damaged by bottom trawling and oil extraction. This decline has hurt coastal and island nations who depend on fish for food security and income. In coastal communities, infrastructure is in decline and food security concerns and poverty levels soar. 